I want to thank everyone, everyone in Virginia for abiding by the social distancing restrictions. We're hearing reports of some businesses being non-compliant. Our localities have the authority to enforce the 10 person limit at restaurants, fitness centers, and theaters. And I fully expect them to use it when needed. But many businesses and many people are doing the responsible thing. And for that, I say thank you. Restaurants that can do so are offering takeout and delivery options. I've also directed Virginia ABC to allow those restaurants to sell beer and wine for takeout and delivery as well. People are working remotely. I know Virginians want to do the right thing so that we can get through this situation together. We also understand this virus this pandemic is affecting everyone's lives. It is forcing changes in people's routines, and for many people, it is affecting their jobs and their income. We are doing everything that we can to help people. Later in this briefing, I'll have our Chief Workforce Advisor, Megan Healy, to talk more about how people who are affected can apply for unemployment. But I know that this is hard on people's morale. It is very, very stressful. It is scary. We are all experiencing big, unwanted changes, and we don't know how long this will all last. Putting on my doctor's hat for just a bit, for many people, this increased stress can exacerbate underlying health conditions. It can bring increased depression and anxiety and the risk of domestic violence. People may deal with this by abusing alcohol or drugs. If you or someone you know is feeling depressed or suicidal, please call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-TALK. I'll repeat that, 1-800-273-TALK. The Federal Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration also has a disaster distress helpline 24-7 that provides crisis counseling and support. That number is 1-800-985-5990. I'll repeat that, 1-800-985-5990. And for everyone, as we have said, please check on each other. I know many people are using virtual meetings to spend time together, are sitting six feet apart in a friend's yard, and these are good things. Social distancing means physical distancing, but it is critical in a time of such upheaval that we maintain our social ties and our social contracts. 